Well, hello, Shoreline Church. Uh, this, is your, this is your devotional for Wednesday, April 15th. And we're looking at Psalm 67. And this psalm is really a prayer. So as I read it, I'd invite you just to let your heart engage with the psalmist and to make this your prayer. Psalm 67, beginning of verse 1. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine on us so that your ways may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. May the peoples praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you rule the peoples with equity and guide the nations of the earth. May the peoples praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. Now, what a great prayer. And this prayer sort of moves from praying for our needs and our heart's desire, but also praying for God's glory. So I just want you to notice a couple of key words that come out of this psalm. And I think there's sort of an invitation to step into this kind of prayer. I would encourage you to ask God for grace. Listen to how the psalm begins. May God be gracious to us. I encourage you to ask God, God, may I experience your grace. Be gracious to me and those I love. There's nothing wrong with praying for God to pour out his grace upon you because God loves to do that. He is a God of amazing grace. So in your prayers this week, will you pray, God, be gracious. Show your grace and your goodness to us. And then the second one is, is even a little bit of a bolder prayer to ask God for blessing. Listen to what the psalmist says. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine on us. Isn't that a beautiful picture? God, would you give us your blessing? Would you show us your grace? And God, let your face shine on your children. I want to challenge you that you would pray and say, God, I ask for your blessing. Now, here's the important thing. We don't raise a fist and say, God, you must bless me. We don't tell God exactly how to bless us. That's up to God. But we worship a God who loves to delight his children and to bring blessing and joy to them. So would you pray for God's blessing and for God's face to shine his light of his presence on you this day? And then the psalm, the, 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 the end of the portion we looked at there, really talks about us being a witness to shine the light of God to the world. The psalmist says, as God, as you bless us, as your face shines on us, as your grace comes upon us, we in turn reflect the light of Jesus, the light of God's glory, the, the presence of the spirit to the world. That's what Christians do. We understand that as God gives us grace, as God blesses us, as God's face shines on us, we then shine the light of Jesus into the world. These blessings aren't just for us. Like Abraham learned in the Old Testament, God blessed him to be a blessing to all the earth. May God bless you so that you would become a blessing to the earth. Let's pray for that today. Lord Jesus, this is our prayer, that we would know your grace we would be astounded and amazed again by the greatness of your grace. That we would receive your blessing that you pour out so freely on your children. That your face, the light of your face would shine on us. And through all of that, your light would shine through us. The people around us that need to know, God, that you love them too. This is our prayer today. Lead us into the rest of this week with an awareness of your presence and your light shining through us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Pastor Sean, our Shoreline Church Chief of Staff, is going to share a few thoughts with you and get you updated on what's happening in the life of the church. Well, hello, Shoreline Church. It's Wednesday, April 15th. And for this week's update, I want to start off with some great news. And that is this past Easter Sunday, we had 31 people who responded to the message and gave their life to Jesus Christ. We also had hundreds of other people who committed to taking next steps to grow to be more like Jesus. And so we celebrate, we rejoice at what God did in and through those worship services and what God will continue to do in all of those who call Shoreline Church their home. We also want to take some time this week, Shoreline, by just checking in and seeing how you're doing. And so what you'll find this week in the email we received earlier today, a survey. And we want to encourage you to, to just go in and take some time and fill out that 20 question survey. And when you do, that will allow us to better understand what are the needs that might be out there in our community, in your lives, and how we then can adapt our ministries to meet those needs. Thank you so much for taking time to fill out that survey. I also want to encourage you to be a participant in tonight's first ever Shoreline webinar. So tonight from 7 to 8 p.m., Pastor Dennis will be leading a discussion 
on social isolation. What does it mean to live in social isolation? What are the impacts and what are the effects? And most importantly, Pastor Dennis is gonna share with us some practical tips and tools for how we can navigate life in these really difficult and challenging, uncertain times. In Shoreline, we continue to have people ask how I can help. What can I do to help those in our local community and those of our need? Well, I wanna encourage you, special invitation. If you have non-perishable food items that you would like to donate, we would love for you to consider bringing those non-perishable food items by Shoreline Church. You can drop them off anytime in the bins that are located out back on the Shoreline campus, or you can come by on Wednesdays from 11 to two, and we'll have a team out there that will receive those goods and also offer a word of prayer for you. And just to say thank you for giving to those who are in need. Well, that's our update for this week's Shoreline Church. I wanna encourage you to stay healthy, stay strong, and stay connected. God bless you and have a great week.